Hi, uh, it's time for another math easy solution to discuss uh, further into the precise definition of limits at infinity, uh, horizontal asymptote series. But now look at some uh, examples. Well, actually, I'm going to go over ex just example one for today. Just these examples are uh, they're not as straightforward as other examples. Basically, these are the the two right here. I'll go over example two in my next video after this one. So basically, let's look at example one first. It says use a graph to find a number n such that you have this function right here, all minus 0 0.6, uh, the absolute value of it is less than 0.1 whenever you have x is, is greater than n right here. Okay, and now before I go over this example, I just wanna go over the precise definition of a limit again, which you can see in the video link below, uh, which I go over it in detail, but just gonna go over it just to show how this example is just similar to the precise definition. And basically the precise definition of a limit is, I just have it written down right here, which states let f be a function defined on some interval a to infinity, then limit as x approaches infinity of f of x is equal to l, or the horizontal asymptote, or the limit, and this just means that for every epsilon greater than zero, there is a corresponding n value such that you have f of x minus this limit is less than uh, delta whenever x is greater than n right here. So all we're doing is basically uh, finding this n value because n is dependent on this epsilon right here. And it's dependent on it since, since we're given a value of this epsilon, we could find out what this n value should be. And also I wanna point out that this function, I just wanna point out that this function, if we just call this f of x, I, I went over in part two of my example series on limits at infinity, and uh, yeah, part two, and you can see that uh, I went over this function right here, we'll call it f of x, and this, the limit of this one, we had limit as x approaches infinity of f of x. I was already showed it to be three over five, or 0.6. So 0.6 is the limit if this is f of x. So all we're doing is minusing the limit and it's less than this delta. Thus this value is our delta. And then we're just finding what n is. Now to do that, well we could just uh, graph this uh, or just, uh, I just wanna first go over actually um, just just uh, rearranging this inequality to get something like, yeah we'll get something like this one. This one would actually be less than 0.7. It's the exact same thing. I'll go over this uh, in a bit. And this is greater than 0.5. And and as you can see from this uh, inequality, yeah, from this uh, inequality right here, if this is less than point, you know, minus 0.6, less than 0.1, the only way that's going to be in between, uh, I mean, less than 0.1 is if this can't be greater than 7 right here. So it has to be less than 0.7 because if you had something like 0 0.8, 0 0.8 minus 0.6 is going to be well 0.2, and that's greater. And then if you had something less than 0.5. And that's just going to be, let's say, 0.4 minus 0.6. That's negative 0.2, and that's greater. Oh, the absolute value is greater than 0.1. So it has to be in between. So we just put 0.7 and 0.5, because when you subtract it, that's going to be 0.1. So, but it has to be less than this. So when we have this one here, so all we could do now is actually graph the functions of what's called y equals 1 as 0.5, uh, y equals 2 as 0.7, and then y equals 3, we'll just call it as f of x. That's the center one. Yeah, so uh, right here I've graphed that th those three functions with uh, Google Calculator. Uh, Google Calculator. So basically, as you can see here, well, it goes something like this. But we're, we're interested in going to infinity. So we have to find this n value. All it means is, well, when is this function in between these two lines? And if we scroll down, like you, you can also see in the video link below on the precise definition, I show that the n value is basically just going to cross this line right here. So in this case, this one's actually somewhere around seven. Yeah, it's somewhere around 7 is what the n value should be. And as you can see, this one is approaching, well, 0 0.6. That's right here. That's 0.6. It's going to be cl getting closer and closer to 0.6. So now, yeah, so now if I just copy and paste this right here, this function. So what this, yeah, what this means is that the only time, well, when this scenario or this one, or which is equivalent of this right here, this inequality, it's only met whenever, well, the f of x when is yeah when it's actually inside these two points so this is the point seven this is point five so it's only going to be when whenever it crosses here so if I scroll down so it's something around point seven so this is actually your n value and it's around seven I mean not point seven seven so for whenever x is greater than n we have this function in between these uh, these two limits right here so it's in between right right here and that's only when it's greater when it's less than if we go to x is less than n 
as you could see right here we have this function this one here is well less than uh, yeah less than 0.5 which is wrong so this it's not what our inequality uh, what we're trying to find so basically n is around 7 so we could write this uh, all down as so yeah so whenever x is greater than, uh, yeah, greater than n or x is greater than 7 right here and in fact this could be any number really large because if uh, if we just make this even larger let's say 14 if, if this was our n value as you could see it this is still in between this uh, these two lines so this orange line which is which is f of x is still in between the, the two limits of 0.7 and 0.5 so it could be it could even be greater than this so uh, as, you see, as you could see it's, it could be anything greater than seven it could even be greater than let's say a thousand as uh, yeah so this is basically the idea of the definition of uh, a precise definition of limit at infinity because now this because as you go to infinity all you're doing is getting closer and closer to the limit and this epsilon will actually get smaller and smaller yeah and epsilon does get smaller and smaller because if you look at this side right here we need we don't need to look at this one we could even just have an epsilon like something like even like this or etc. And so as you can see, this epsilon is in between. Uh, yeah, this f x in between these when you are greater in, uh, when n is even larger. Well, that's uh, all for today. If you learn from this uh, example, it's a bit abstract. But once you get your head around precise definition, it's pretty straightforward. I'll go over this one later, which says use the precise definition of a limit uh, at infinity to prove this function uh, limit as x part of infinity of 1 over x equals 0. Well, that's all for today. Remember, you can always download these notes in the Dropbox link below, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.